Hello, all you people. Um, oh, I forgot my intro. Yeah, hello, all you people. Um, here another video today. Um, I forgot to do Let's Talk Sunday yesterday, so I'm gonna do it today. Sorry for the absent. Like I said, I've been really tired because I stay up until like five o'clock in the morning, then fall asleep and wake up at like twelve, and that's what I did. But anyway, Raw coming on at seven in a few minutes. If you live on this side of the country, east side. But anyway, um, yeah. I just want to talk about a lot of things. Like, let's say, not let's say, let's see. Um, Stone Cold vs. Brock Lesnar. It's been teased. It was on the Austin podcast where Paul Heyman just popped the question and said, Would you come back to fight anybody? And then Paul Heyman said, Brock Lesnar. And then Stone Cold was trying to explain what, how he would fight Brock Lesnar. Talk about he would beat him. And. Just talking about how they would have like have some type of match, like a Texas death match, because you know WrestleMania 32 is gonna be like the largest WrestleMania ever. Like a, a lot of a thousand people gonna be there. But um, yeah, he said like a Texas death match because they're in Texas, Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin from Texas, and and then he he Stone Cold was telling Paul Heyman about you know like the type of stipulation the match would have to be. And then Paul Heyman pulls out his phone. And just ignores them completely. Like he's talking about texting somebody, and then Stone Cold goes off, and then they just end the podcast right there. So they're teasing it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Only reason I don't think it's gonna happen because they're teasing it so early. Like if this was done like around TLC or something, then probably yeah. But you know, it's like we we just got removed from WrestleMania, one of the almost one of the best WrestleManias ever, especially with Seth Rollins cashing in. Yeah. But anyway. On to some more important news. Um, yeah. I just want to touch on both Dallas right quick. Neville beat him at Elimination Chamber. Then he beat him the next night on Raw. What are they doing with him? What are they doing with Bo Dallas? Bo Dallas eliminated Wade Barrett from the Royal Rumble in 2013. Now he's losing each and every week he comes out. He doesn't even come out each and every week because they don't have him on TV. Zach Ryder gets more TV time than him. Even if Bo Dallas is not even, uh... Clark should a championship yet. He's I feel like I, like he's better than Zack Ryder. Um, yeah, that just frustrates me how WWE doesn't use their sense. Like I know Bo Dallas is like the, isn't like the big star they have on the main roster. Um, you know, but yeah, okay. Some other things: John Cena and Kevin Owens. Only reason they're gonna have rematch is because um is because um Cena. Like, what am I saying? Cena's gonna win. I'm just telling you right now. If I hope Cena's gonna win. I kinda don't want him to, but I know he is. When John Cena loses in this rematch, he'll either lose that time again, he'll he'll either lose that rematch and then have another fight and then win, or he'll win that match. I'm just saying. Because they had a back and forth match. Oh, I thought I heard something. It's not like Kevin Owens dominated him or anything. It was an awesome match. And it's just crazy. But I know they have a rematch, and Kevin Owens might, he might, like, dominate Cena, then Cena might come back and just win, I have no idea. On to other things, the New Day, retaining, uh, I'm not a big fan. I really wanted Cesaro and Kid to win, because they're amazing, but I guess they want to move them out of the title picture. Um, and Cesaro, not Cesaro, Tyson Kid getting injured by Samoa Joe. Um, there's a lot, there's been a lot of reports talking about how, um, Samoa Joe hit the um, pump up buster, if you know what that is, off the top rope, his finishing move, breaking Tyson Kidd's back. It was like on a dark show. A dark, not a dark show. What am I saying? A dark match. It was aired on Superstars. Um, yeah, and they said that his back, his spine, some type of spine injury. I don't really know what it is. I looked it up, but Tyson Kidd is injured. So if you don't see Tyson Kidd or Cesaro for a while, then. Yeah, that's yeah, that's Kid's injury. But I don't know if they'll have Star compete in any singles competition, but probably not. They work they work way better as a tag team. Not saying like Tyson Kid and Zaro can't compete on their own because they're both amazing competitors. Okay, what else should we talk about? Mm mm mm. I have no idea. Um, I'm really just been talking about WWE be how they've not done what they're supposed to do. Well, you know, just. And the money in the bank. Um, I have no idea who I want to win. Um, I'm not gonna say Neville. 
with everybody saying, oh, do the red arrow off the top of the ladder. The move he does is so dangerous that he can barely pull it off from off the top row, even if he still lands on his stomach. When he is, he does a shooting star press and then turns in midair and has to time it right, land on his stomach. Now, I don't, if he jumps off a ladder, the ladder is not stable enough to stay steady because he has to like jump and twist as soon as he jumps off. So, if he jumps and twists, then the ladder is going to fall over. And even if he does do the flip in the air right, the ladder could fall over, he can land on the ladder. He's very dangerous. I don't think he's going to do that. Neville, I don't think he's going to win. Dolph Ziggler, I don't think he's not going to win. Just because he got dominated at Elimination Chamber and trying to have him make, have him have this feud with um, Rusev and stuff, taking Lana. And then, I think Sheamus is going to win. I really wanted Sheamus to win the Elimination Chamber. He didn't win, but I wanted him to, I want him to win at the Money in the Bank. Kobe Kingston. Mm, no. Like, he's awesome at Money in the Bank. Not in matches. He's awesome. But he's not going to win. Just because of the, just because of the New Day thing. He could have been anywhere else, but no. Tag, the creative team decided let let's have Kofi on a um, tag team. But yeah, they they have retained the um, tag titles for up to three times now. They won it at Elim they won it at Extreme Rules, held it till Payback, then held it to um, Elimination Chamber. So that's like twelve weeks, because you count four. Wait, is no, it's not twelve weeks. Four, two, eight, and then okay, no, it's not. It's not okay. They held it eight weeks, but anyway, they held it for a good while. Um, Kane. Uh, a lot of people say he's going to win just to like try to cash in on Seth Rollins. I don't know. Well, I think it's gonna happen. I think Dean Aaron was gonna win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in the ladder match. Then, if Kane wins the Money in the Bank, he's gonna cash in on Dean Ambrose, and um, he's gonna win the title. Kane's gonna be the WWE champion. Then Seth Rollins gonna be like, give me the title because it's like back with the authority. Or Kane might just go face again and choke slam Rollins then and just take the WWE championship home. Well, that's my thoughts on Money in the Bank, WWE, and other things are going on. Just like keeping you guys up to date. Sorry for the lateness of the Let's Talk Sundays. I really like talking to you guys about stuff. Like I said in my, like I said in the Amazing Spider-Man video, we'll be doing a Q&A. I'm going to leave my um, Twitter and Facebook down in the um, description below. Or, yeah. You yeah, always leave your comments in the YouTube section down below in the comments. So, hope you like, subscribe, catch your next video. Curb Supper, stomping out. Yeah.